Hey there, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. I'm whispering because I'm about to put presents under the tree presents for other people, but this one's for you. This is the Bond Experience Holiday Vlog. Oh, hello, welcome back. David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. You know what time of year it is. It is our holiday vlog. This is where we bring different brands, different items to you during the holiday season. Hey, there's a lot of things that you can do with this information. You could put it in front of your loved ones, your spouse, your significant other. You could put it as a wish list to your boss. It's a video, so you can drive it to a lot of other people. But we're gonna talk about something that I think you're going to enjoy the theme this year. The theme this year is keeping the British end up. Yes, it's everything that has to do with the UK. These are brands that are born, made, they thrive. They are from the UK. So we're going to talk about the very first one that I'm wearing right now. You can see by this wonderful ski emblem that this is something new from NPL. NPL, good friends of ours, good friends of the Bond community in general. They've come out with some really interesting stuff. Love the silhouette of this outfit. I love the kind of varsity type of look, but this thing is ridiculously soft. This is that cashmere that they become very known for. It's, uh, it's, it's a wonderful long-haired cashmere. There's a lot of information in YouTube videos about how they get the goats and the cashmere. So we're not gonna go over that. What we'd rather do is kind of show off some of these items that you're probably gonna want under your tree because this one, for example, has that On Her Majesty Secret Service feel, but there's other ones as well. Here we've got another one. It is really, again, very comfortable. Love the way these things fit on the arm. By the way, these are a mixture of small and mediums. You know, with NPL, I'd like to go a little bit smaller on my size. It's got a nice fitted look. And by the way, I'll bring it in a little bit. You can see the fitting on the arm. Um, it's really complimentary. It's not like a typical sweater that just kind of hangs off. You can see how this has a nice, armhole which is one of the reasons why i like this also a lot of people love this right here which is kind of the gray almost silver against the blue stands out really nice so sometimes you just want something that you can throw on in the house or maybe you're running outside a couple errands take a drive in your new car i don't know but this is a bomber jacket from npl you can see right here i'll bring it up a little bit close cashmere has these kind of gradient waffle lines into them. I'm sure that's not the right terminology, waffle lines, David. But you can see right here how it's got, again, a really nice silhouette. This is a size small. I found that um, if I take a size small in some of the these pieces right here, you've got a nice little bit of room, but not too much room. You can also see in the back, it's very comfortable. All right, folks, here we go. This can be used as a regular jacket, which is one of the nice things. Creates a little bit of flexibility and who doesn't like flexible gifts around the holiday time? And the final piece from NPO that we're gonna show is this Hurricane hoodie. By the way, Hurricane is the name of the blue. It's really interesting. You got a nice tree in the background. Uh, hoodies, they're getting more and more in style, but this one in cashmere is perfect. Just when you thought NPL only had the Fumo Gray from Spectre, they give you all of these different styles. But let's take a look across the pond to a good old friend of ours to talk about yet another British brand. Yay. 
Yes, thank you, David. Blair Ballard here for the Bond Experience Europe. Welcome to rural England, or more specifically to my country retreat slash personal shrublands. Christmas is almost here and it's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it, for our loved ones to try and track down some stuff that we actually want or that we haven't got already. So what do we do normally? When there's a film out, we pour over the on-set photos, the paparazzi backstage shots, and track down the pieces of clothing before the film's out. We can get to the stores and hopefully they're still there. But for the most part, we have to wait till the film comes out and because it was shot a year or two years before, it was a couple of seasons back and we can't find the items at all. So we have to resort to outlet stores or eBay. It's a bit of a nightmare. So what do we do? Well, we can approach Indy at Magnolia Clothiers or Daniel Love at Royale Clothing and they do absolutely brilliant replicas. Or what you could do is try and get an item reissued which was championed very successfully by Supremo David Zaritsky when he approached Billy Reed and they reissued the Peacoat from, Spy, uh, from Skyfall and it's an absolute bestseller for them now as well. Put them really on the map in my books. Or there is another option. You can club together with your friends and petition a company to do uh, a limited run or to do a special order for you. Now. This was championed again um, by Simon Rusgar, the supremo of the wardrobe super sleuthage, and he um, approached Tom Ford for the Harrington that was made very successfully and a few of us have got hanging in our wardrobes. And I was a bit of a backstage helper in that one as well, which is great. But also, back in 2013, uh, Daniel Craig was seen parading around New York in some brown chucker boots. Now these were the ones he wore in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, but he loved them so much, he wore them in his personal life as well. And they were from Barney's New York, exclusively. He loved them so much, he had a special order made of black suede ones. Now, these weren't available in the shops at all. They had a, a day-night sole as well. Now Simon approached uh, Crockett and Jones and said, could you possibly make a special order for us? They said, sure, ultra limited run limited number of sits um, to start off with and Simon pulled together some friends. I missed the boat on that one. I was absolutely gutted. So a few of us went back to Simon and said, look, please, could you ask uh, Crockett and Jones to see if they could do a few more for us? Crockett and Jones said, well, we promised the original run, guys, that they wouldn't be able to have any more. That was it. Simon went back to the guys who went for the original run and said, please, can you let these other couple of guys have have another shot at it. They very magnanimously said, sure thing, they're fans, they can, they deserve it. So a second run was made. There, these are the boots here. There are only 24 pairs owned by members of the AJB forum, plus one owned by some guy called D. Craig Actor. Um, but they're super rare and it gives me a little warm feeling inside have something that's so rare and so exquisitely made, obviously, coming from Crockett and Jones, British craftsmanship at its best. They're extremely hard wearing. I wear them all the time. They're in pretty good nick, really, um, considering, but they are super rare and I just love them. And so that's, there's a message here, a Christmas message for us. If there's something you want to get, get to with your mates and petition a company to make them for you, special order. Christmas miracles can happen, okay? now. Have a great Christmas, guys, from all of us here in, uh, in the UK, to all of you out there. Hope you have a great time that Santa gives you everything you want for Christmas, a few surprises as well, possibly. But now, back to you, David, in the States. Wow, Blair, I am gelling over those Black Moltons. Unbelievable story, unbelievable shoes, really good quality. Thank you so much. Well, we're bringing it back now to the States where I'm wearing yet another, keeping the British end up, brand Sunspell. It's our friends from Sunspell. And to me, the Riviera Sunspell polo shirt from Casino Royale is the one piece of James Bond kit. If you are going to invest in anything that's the correct brand, it should be the Riviera polo. By the way, a lot of different iterations of this. Some have said it started off really dark navy, then it went lighter, was made in different places, etc. I think it's back to its glory, quite frankly. It's very dark, almost like a midnight blue, as it should be. I'm in a small, by the way. I like the way the small fits. I'll kind of come back here a little bit so you can see the side. Um, you can see the back. For those of you that don't know the fit, 
We'll come up a little bit closer so you can see uh, the bicep fit is, is, is really good. I mean, this is the way the Riviera Polo should fit you. It should be um, fitted, snug, not skinny, not suctioning you. But the Riviera Polo to me screams Bond. I mean, you pair it with, you know, a pair of chinos and it transports you. I mean, think about all the people that are into this uh, Bond experience that we know. They probably own something like this. And this outfit just, it's indicative of it. But Sunspell, um, even as old a brand as it is, is constantly evolving. And they've, they've done something to me that spells creativity, quality, and comfort all together, and still looks incredibly Bond. Okay, so you can see with the color that this is a dark navy blue, and I'm gonna come up close. Long sleeve polo. Now, the reason that this looks incredibly smooth right here, it is an interlocked jersey cotton. What does that mean? That means Sunspell did something very cool. They took the same type of fabric, the same type of knit, the same type of process that you're used to with the gray Sunspell, t-shirt and the v-neck white t-shirt and they made it into a long sleeve polo these things are unbelievably comfortable they are first of all um pretty pretty slim fit i mean they're not all baggy you're not pulling them out this is a size small just as a reminder i am a size 40 31 so just to kind of you know tell you about what you're seeing as far as the fit is concerned but what I love about this, this is so comfortable. I feel like um, I'm almost not wearing anything at all. One of the things I love about these, and they do it also in um, you know, a very traditional white, but what I love about these is they're great base layers. You can put them under cardigans. You can put them under a sports jacket. I actually wore one of these on a pitch underneath, um, what was it, a cardigan? It was a sports jacket. It was the... Um, uh, Bruno Cuccinelli uh, sports jacket from Spectre and it looked great because you know what it tucks in really well uh, again you know this is what the fit looks like it's not all billowy it's not making you look like a 90 year old man but it's classic a classic long sleeve polo you can see some of the details here it's not ribbed and cinched it's very loose I'm telling you folks, it feels like I'm wearing just a really good quality made t-shirt. So it's that Jersey, Jersey, 100% cotton interlock, and it's amazing. So it's one of these things from um, Sunspell. I wouldn't think logically, logically about getting this. I would definitely get the Riviera Polo first, but as a secondary or something, if you want to add a little something extra from Sunspell, and again, you know, British... Uh, UK company, it's well worth it. Now we're going to do something a little bit different. Not so much a UK based company, but a UK based individual. Well, at least his ancestors. We're going to take you now to Joe Darlington of Being James Bond. Joe? Thank you, David. And happy holidays to you and everyone over at the Bond Experience. How's everybody doing? My name is Joseph Darlington, and I do a humble little podcast called Being James Bond. Being James Bond has been dedicated to following in the footsteps of James Bond, doing the things he can do, learning the things he can do. And with the holidays here, David has been kind enough to let me tell you about Being James Bond Volume 1. In this first volume, we get in-depth in learning the skills that Bond has, such as Texas Hold'em Poker, where we explore Bond's specific techniques and how he takes out his opponents. We give you an introductory lection on skiing. We talk drinks and mixology so that you can mix a martini suitable for James Bond and his companions. We take a trip to London and give you tips on how to do it a little more like 007. Believe it or not, we give you your first flying lesson and discuss the basics of flying an airplane. We'll visit the GoldenEye Dam and go bungee jumping like James Bond. And to finish out with a little rest and recreation, a quick lesson in horseback riding. It's all here in the pocket edition of Being James Bond, small enough that you can keep it hidden in your jacket pocket, or nice looking enough to sit on your coffee table. And as a way of saying thank you to the Bond experience, if you go to my publisher's site, lulu.com, Being James Bond Volume 1 is available at 25% off through the holidays. That's a low, low price of $14.96. 
So thank you once again to the Bond Experience for allowing me to shamelessly pitch Being James Bond Volume 1. I'll ask David to put a link below so you can get it for 25% off. Everyone, happy holidays from me and everyone here at Being James Bond. David, back to you. Joe, phenomenal. Uh, for those of you that haven't read the book, you're missing out. I've got two copies, one to read and is dog-eared like anything and one to just keep on my shelf with his signature. Don't ask, I just collect these things. Anyway, I'm feeling a little too dressed up and formal, so we're gonna take it to a little bit more of a resort atmosphere. Still keeping the British end up, we have to talk about our friends over at All of Our Brown with a great history in James Bond, great British fortitude. And we're gonna start off with kind of what they're known for, which is resort wear. And let's face it, it is the holiday season. You can see by the mantle over here, but hopefully you're gonna be going away someplace warm to escape some of this abusive cold out here. And they make incredible resort wear like this. This is the Horton, and yes, Horton does give a who. Sorry, awful. Um, but this is this Italian knitted yarn. It's different. I'm gonna come up close so you can see some of the details in here, which um, the camera's picking up nicely right here. This isn't your typical cotton. It is knitted as an integrated vertical block. So these things all integrate together. What I love about this, this is a size small, it's obviously fitted. It's all bar brown fitted. I could have probably gone up to a medium, but I took a small. I love the way it fits high in the bicep, um, not just high in the bicep, but not baggy in the bicep. It's got a nice kind of ribbing. Let's take a look real quick here. You can see the ribbing around here, very nice. From a side standpoint, you can see right here, extremely flattering. It's got this ribbed bottom right here, which kind of clings like the John Smedley things, but back, Fits the back very nicely. It's got um, really good lines. It's got a nice solid block. What I love about this though, it harkens back to those days with the Rat Pack, you know, and 1950s, 1960s type of Palm Springs look to it. It is incredibly comfortable. You know we're all into hand and comfort. This thing seems like it could breathe in really hot weather, um, slightly colder weather with a jacket on it. It has a lot of utility. So the Horton, highly recommended, and it's all of our brown, so it's got that great quality to it. But, you know, when we talk about utility, we have also have to talk about fitness and loungewear, and all of our brown has dove into that market very nicely. Let's take a look. Okay, this is what I was talking about. All of our brown, loungewear, workout wear, fitness, whatever you want to call it, it's very Bond-esque. I could actually see Daniel Craig wearing this All About Brown outfit for training or something like that. But let's, let's talk about some of the details. This is the Brian Contrast Gray Melange Navy. You can see the gray, you can see the, uh, the, the navy itself. And by the way, you have navy down here at the waist. What I love about this, I'm gonna come in a little bit closer, is this type of detail right here is very flattering. It almost looks like a, a shoulder holster. Um, right here, you've got the pocket. And what I like about this, this is a size small, but um, on a 3840, it's fitted like most fitness and workout things should be. But you could also wear this with jeans. You could wear this with chinos. You don't have to wear this with matching bottoms like I have. So the bottoms are a Cavan contrast. They're also gray melange and navy. They're match. You can see kind of the bottoms here. They, uh, they cinch at the bottom, but they're incredibly comfortable. These pants, they've got wonderful, nice little pockets, but they're also, they're slim fitted. They're not skinny, which, ugh. Um, they're slim fitted, which was really nice. And what I love about this is this uses a technique that is a little bit vintagey. It's called Terry Loop Backing. So the inside of this has these little tiny Terry Loops that makes it really cozy. Um, it makes it really, really soft. So you're getting the optimal amount of wear out of this, but it's also incredibly comfortable. And come on, tell me you couldn't see wearing this by the tree on Christmas morning. I mean, it's one of these things I think that you put it on and, whoa, hold on a second. What are you doing? I'm just walk, walking along. Yeah, I, I know you You seem to be going out. That is the next thing I'm going to be reviewing. That's the Hatton jacket from Olabar Brown, the downfilled one. But it fits me so much better. 
All right, I'll give you that. It does fit you better. Fine, since you're here, you're in front of the camera yet again, why don't you talk about the jacket? What do you like about it? Well, I love this jacket. I actually had the pleasure of wearing it last night out with a couple of friends. It survived Hot Pot, it survived the mall. Wait, wait, what's a Hot Pot? Uh, we'll get into that later. Okay, good. <laughs> but this is the softest jacket I have ever worn. And that's saying something. Yeah, stand at the side for a second. Let's see the fit on you. So this is a size small. Um, turn around to the back. Um, see, it's got a nice hood that actually can fold up and everything inside the collar. It's ridiculously light. It is, but it's so warm. I'm actually sweating right now. <laughs> and it's got like nice little detail pockets and it things does. like that. And, and it's perfect for holding my right. glasses. Oh, look at you. Well, did you do that on purpose? I did. Yeah, all around <laughs> glasses because, you know, he's got to be a completist. I've ruined him. That's great. Um, it, well, here, let me take those off so you don't hurt yourself in the dark. But uh, it, it looks good on you. You're, I assume you're keeping this now, then. Oh, yes, this is mine. All right, look, I gotta finish up this vlog. Why don't you just get out of here? <laughs> All right. All right. Listen, I hope you enjoy this. Keeping the British end up. This has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. Make sure you show this video to your loved ones. It's more than just a hint. It is a wonderful, wonderful Santa list of things that you do. And I wanna wish you and all of your loved ones an incredible, incredible holiday season. David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. Talk to you very soon. Oh, hey, you're still here. Hi. Didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first. You get notifications. It screams at you while you're at work. It's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe. Just move your cursor. Move.